Before we get started, quick announcement. I just released my newest single called Time for a Change. If you got some time after the video, check it out. Link will be in the big comment. Surely appreciate that. What's good, Crown family? Hope you're having a good day today. If not, I hope the video will bring a little light to your day. Also, if you're an independent artist yourself, want me to react to my song, hit my email in the description. We can make that happen today, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to check out KSI, Cap, Official Lyrics and Meaning, Verified Genius. Let's get straight to it. I'm never too okay. friendly with people. Like, obviously, if I meet you, it is what it is. It's cool. It's cool. But then if you do something that's going to rub me a certain way, I'll let you tell you to your face. Like, I don't care if things are awkward. I'll tell nice. you, yeah, I don't like the way you did this or I don't like the way you did that. But most of the time, it's really hard to be on my bad side because a lot of time, I'm I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty nice guy. Like, it takes... Exactly, bro. That That's me to the T, bro. Like, it's so hard to get on my bad side. Like, you really have to do some really dumb-ish. Like, when I get mad, it takes a lot to get me mad. And if you get me to that point and you get on that side, you got to stay on that side because I, I don't usually forget, but, you know, sometimes I do, you know. It takes a lot for me to go, okay, you're f pissing me off now. So Facts. once you get to that point, then best believe I, I don't fuck with you anymore. Facts. So, yeah. See, just like me. Just like me. <laughs> My boy be having so much energy, I swear to you. For Cap, um, it started in LA. I was just working with it with a few writers, a few producers. I wrote the song about certain people uh, in my life, uh, especially people who have uh, backstabbed me. And yeah, man, it just popped off. Offset has always been, you know, someone I would love to have had on a song, but I never thought I'd ever get the opportunity to have him on a song. We asked Offset if he wanted to hop on. My man did. My man dropped the verse, and then yeah, the rest is history. That's dope. That's really dope. Um, like to be able to be a YouTube artist and get a collab uh, from an artist that that's mainstream. That's that's dope as hell for the YouTube community, YouTube artists. Like this is opening doors for us, you know, for you know mainstream artists to look at YouTube artists, you know, maybe be able to collab, you know, in the future. I cannot pretend if I don't. I can tell the fake from the fraud. The way I can tell if someone's being fake or a fraud is literally through time. It's pretty Facts. hard to find out instantly, you know, if they're fake or if they just want something from you. So over time, that's when you realize what their true agendas are. And I'm pretty good at spotting that. Out here checking chins for the bank. Mm -hmm. That's why I can't be no friends with no cat. I know, you know, when to distance myself, uh, amongst certain people it's just traits with like you know how how they message you or you know how fast they reply to certain things or just what they do just mannerisms i don't know like i i just have that, that inkling i've been fucked over in the past and uh i you know i make sure now because of that that i put things in place to make sure i never get fucked over again it's just one of those things big facts you had to watch yourself man watch the people in your circle man because you never know until, like like you said, until after a period of time, you know, somebody's true colors. You know, if a situation go down, you really need them and they ain't there for you. And it's just like, damn, man, I thought you was cool. I thought I could trust you. I, I thought I could just hit you up. And you know how that be, man. But let's continue. He's speaking facts, though. That's where you live and you learn. We're no cap. We're no cap. We're no cap. We're no cap. We no cap, 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 bitch that's cap. Hey, Logan Paul, I can't pretend that, you know, I fuck with him. I know he put my song in his uh, videos and, uh, you know, he mentioned it the other day, but it's one of those things where I just ignored it. I can't have you dissing me saying stupid shit and then the next just being like, oh, but I love your music, blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that, let's be friends. Nah, it's just... I don't fuck with it. Cooling a bitch trying to find me. My bread that you're cooking is grimy. The fine was me getting sued, fam. I got sued um, uh, over 50,000 for uh, a certain situation. Damn. And uh, it is what it is, but you know, we move. It was a person not close to me, someone that worked for me, but didn't do the job right. Yeah, they just weren't very good at the job. So I let them go and they sued me, so. I just thought, you know, we how you gonna sue somebody if you're not good at your job? Like, how you mad at them for not being good at your job? Like, y'all, y'all probably know more information about whatever this situation you're talking about is, but that's that's wild to me. Settle it just to make 
it not as uh, complicated as it could could have been. The product is selling like pallets. My party, I glue it like print stick for the world who's watching. Print stick is just a type of glue that a lot of people in the UK would use mm. to stick shit together. So it's it's one of the main things. As as a kid growing up, you you if you wanted to glue shit together, you just print stick. That's my only thing with like reacting to like UK artists. It's kind of hard to you know understand like the punchlines because a lot of times you know they're speaking on items that they only have or you know slang that you know daddy use and it means things that I don't know of. That's the only time it, it's hard for me you know to catch the bars for them. You just get a print stick, and uh, yeah, I just thought I'd have a little bit of a throwback with that shit. Pay the crystal for surfing, catch a new wave, nigga fishing. The crystal is. Um, the shopping center in Vegas. Many a time, I've been waved in Vegas and bought some uh, outrageous shit. <laughs> but uh, hey, yeah, that's just you got to splurge. Just shout out Vegas. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. People hissing, uh, cutting their heads in the kitchen. Snaky slams. They sell out a mate for dams. People who are just snaky with their movements, man. They just move dodgy and. I just don't like when people move dodgy, man. It makes me f feel a certain way. And uh, you know, this is this is my kitchen. My kitchen here and the studio, bro. That's my kitchen. And I fucked many people in the kitchen, man. Like I fucked up many people. Sometimes I just like, need to say yeah. what I need to say to kill something off or end something. And uh, yeah, that's just how it is. Pay 200K for Rams. I get 200K for the views. I'm saying, People are paying me uh, 200k for bars. I remember this was ages ago. Wow. Some guy offered me a shit ton of money to uh, <laughs> to uh, be on a song. I turned that shit down, man. That song was so dead, fam. Damn, to be at the point where you could just turn down that type of money is... That's goals, bro. Like, I mean, you know, it's just like... It don't be, you know, trying to you trying to offend them or nothing like that. It just be the fact that, you know, it's it's not your style. It, and not even saying that the song was probably even bad, you know, it probably just, you know, didn't fit his style, so he didn't want to really do the song. So the amount of money that you just offer people or throw at people, I mean they got they have to do it, you know. I just was like, nah man. I will jump on anyone's song if it's good. Like you can pay me 50, 100K, 200K, a million bro. Bro, I got money, Don't I don't need money. Like for me, I'm at a point where I might as well just do shit that I enjoy and do shit I wanna do. Right, so if you're paying me 200K for a verse and a bit of the hook and then it's a dead track, Nah, man, I'm not doing that. I paid 500K for a cat. So obviously the cat is the beerish chain I got. Uh, a ch Yo, I did not know what he meant when he said he paid five hundred k for a cat. I was like, I thought it was one of those exotic cats, or like a tiger or a lion or something like that. <laughs> but it's the the various chain that he has. I don't think I, I might have seen it. Chain worth five hundred thousand of just the beerish head, and uh, it's from Dragon Ball Super. And bro, I was a huge fan of Dragon Ball Super and a huge fan of Beerus. So I was like, yo. After, I believe it was the first fight, the first Logan Paul fight, I was like, yo, I want to buy this fucking chain. I will not buy it. I want to make this fucking chain. It's just like a souvenir for me, man. Like, it's just something cool that I, I know I'm the only one in the world that has it. I got 500k for that river. The river is just the streams, man. So, obviously, with the music streams that I'm doing, man, I'm doing crazy numbers. Like, just on... I mean, you know, like... Th that type of slang, like I, I wouldn't be able to understand it, but you know, that's, that's something that he knows. The know? album alone, I've already hit like over 130 million uh, streams. So yeah, bro, that equals a lot of cash. <laughs> Niggas on different cheddar, fuck around with the blue cheese and that mozzarella. I got different kinds of money, man. I've got like euros, I got dollars, I got a pound sterling, bro. I got all types of money, man, because I would say I travel a lot, so I'm just saying that I got different types of money, different types of cheese, so, you know, it is. Uh, <laughs> and then they show them my energy. blue trees, open the garden with few keys. Blue trees is money trees, uh, and edit is just essentially me saying, it's like a homage, a homage to me starting all of this from editing my videos and posting them on YouTube to showing, you know, the money tree that I got. So edit is show them my blue trees. 
That's what I meant by that. It's Helen Keller when showing the paddock. Obviously, Helen Keller is blind and deaf. And I was just like, yo, it makes sense. When it comes to panic, man, I, I don't really panic. I don't really panic that much. I'm quite a chill guy. Like, there's, there's hardly, any, hardly anything really panics me. Like, even when I had a fight in front of millions, <laughs> I wasn't panicked. I was just focused and ready. Yeah. Uh, I never panic because panic just makes you do dumb shit. It makes yeah, you fact. fail. I don't stop yeah, winning. Fact. I swear, man, at it. Automatic competition is Beulah. Cinematic when I kill it like cooler. I think everyone loves winning. Winning is just, it's a great feeling, man. That's I can't right. describe to you how amazing it is to work so hard for something and then to get the rewards after. Like, it's the best feeling. That's just why I love it and that's why I'm addicted to it. I romantic, they know when I'm in it. Over time, when I dunk in the cynic, a a. A lot of people said I'll never reach a million subscribers. I did that. A lot of people said I'll never get a 10 million subscriber plaque. I did that. When it came to the boxing, people said, oh, you won't beat Joella. I did that. People were like, oh, you won't beat Logan Paul. And it, it is so wild people how people will do that to you. Like, they just be like, oh, you won't do this. Oh, oh, but then when you do it, it's just like, oh, but you won't do this and this. And then when you do that, and it's just like, oh, but you got to, you know, wear an umbrella and, and in the rain and, and do this and this and this. <laughs> like, bro, like, just stop it. You know? Hey. I did that. When it came to the music, oh, you'll never get a top 40. I did that. Oh, you'll never get a top 10. I did that. Oh, you'll never get a top five album. I've done that. Like, <laughs> I just keep tell. doing what people say I can't do. Tell. That is my driving point. That what uh, pushes me to do more. Just to prove to all these cynics Thanks. that <laughs> I'm doking on your mother. That, that, that's what literally you use that energy. You use that hate that they, they, they're giving you. And it makes you go harder. So y'all ain't doing nothing but fueling, fueling the people that y'all talk bad on and saying that they won't. But when you tell them they won't, they're like, okay, okay, I'm going to work my ass off until I do so I can prove you wrong. And I'm going to etch your ass like, hey. The fucking asses. Don't give a, <laughs> hey, said, Don't give a fuck what anyone says. Just keep doing you. Keep winning. And then it's only a matter of time before they try to suck your dick, bro. Facts. 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 <laughs> I love ad. You two ads that be like, let me get off in your reaction. But it's like, no, you're not paying me. You already be taking all my money. You know, like, uh. well, that's you on G. My bad. Not you two ads. Salute to the you two ads, man. I appreciate y'all. But hey, man, I'm going to go ahead and leave off on another really good genius interview. By now, I'll share a video on my face. That's my newest song called Time for a Change. If you got some time, go ahead and check that out. All you got to do is click the video on my face and take it to the song. Now, if you enjoy that song, Smash the subscribe to my music channel. I guess it's time to do that. And we out, Salute Crown family. Have a beautiful, blessed day.